asking for seven million freaking dollars to consult on their new oh if you guys ever been so tired that birds can fly cows can swim babies can now twerk to heaven like this is what happens when you are completely deprived of sleeping so and it turns out according to rumors that black myth wukong's director is out here whipping his meat out and rejecting the woke weirdos and if these rumors are true and wukong keeps the same energy mm. we're about to see a mega hit on our hands <laughs> beyond this there's other games being that slammed for the opposite reason <laughs> that's how that's how we basically calculate and measure success now hey director is pulling his me is pulling shebangs out okay so we know that this game is gonna be hot i already know the game is gonna be hot just because wukong that's a really 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 good how do how do people say it like uh wukong is a really good brand not just based on myth mythology but also in terms of game like you can create an amazing game with just the ip of wukong actually they were more creative than i thought I don't know the mythology within Wukong, like in terms of like story wise, but this, what they already made, it's actually pretty amazing. Let me not, I'm tired and I'm already yapping for some reason. What the heck? So this all started when a user on Twitter named pirate underscore nation decided to tweet something about Wukong. According to the translations provided from Chinese social Why media is it always platform a tweet? Weibo, which is basically Twitter, but the Chinese version. By the way. Yeah, carry on. No, I'm joking. This trailer, it was so short, but so good. So good, so good, so good. This trailer was amazing. I wanted them to show a little bit more, right? To bring the hype, but just the little things that they added here. A Chinese journalist Ooh! has published a... Bro, that part with the sound effect. Story oh my goodness Black gracious. Oh yes, the, the freaking the Titans on the background, the yes. Is due to their rejection of Western values. <laughs> By the way, I am not even listening to this man. What the heck's wrong with me? A Chinese journalist has published a story regarding Black Myth Wukong and states that the backlash the game is receiving in the West is due to their rejection of Western values. The Chinese Post stated that because Wukong hmm? Studio, which is called Game Science, is rejecting these woke consulting agencies and refusing to work with them, Western websites are attempting to run hit pieces against Game Science to derail their success in the West. This Cohen I'm sorry, like this doesn't even make any s <laughs> Like, guys, like now companies are trying to cancel a... <laughs> Guys, before it was an individual that is trying to cancel people. Now it's a company, a full-fledged company that is actually salty that the, these good developers are actually creating something nice. They're like, okay, you guys don't want to work with us. Then we are going to be pushing a narrative that clearly we're just trying to destroy your image so that you can hire us to fix it. Why? Like, it's their culture, okay? Like, they work differently. Now the uh, Western company is trying to get into the Chinese company. Like, they work differently. They have different views. Let them, okay? It's their culture. Like, why, brother? Why? We are actually quite glad that we are even getting this game globally okay let's actually be happy that how about that it could have just basically come out in japan or in china that came out in 2023 by ign from two writers who have both gone and protected their twitter accounts since this article has gotten attention and it's titled <laughs> how black myth wukong's developers history of sexism is complicating its journey to the west particularly for a game that has not been released yet, but beneath the luster of this Souls-like is a studio plagued by claims of sexism. Who is this studio that is making? Um, what's the name of the studio? Like, is this literally their first game? It can't be, right? They cannot be making this much of a banger while being a really new studio. Plus, all of these datas, it wouldn't make any sense. Well, how did, how did they get all this data on just a new game? company because straight up is going to be all just a lie in 2007 he penned a lengthy article titled who has murdered our game when he delved into the difficulties of game development in china oh, fang compared good, failed though. projects to stillborn babies given that many games have to cease development Wait, he has a whip as well on for a year or so he then brought up this analogy is it because the sperm isn't virile enough is the pregnancy what are we talking about what the heck they came out of nowhere what but remember Very again, weird. he's not someone that is born in the West. 
His yes. mannerisms and how he conveys things likely make much more sense in his native tongue. And for a website like IGN, which apparently champions diversity, they do seem to be one of many websites that are constantly trying to break down the Asian game developer side of the world. This is mostly because in terms of the West versus East, Asian mm. games are still way less riddled with identity That's politics and woke nonsense compared to their Western okay, counterparts. Let's go. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for, when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. There's huh? an obvious agenda here being pushed by IG. Ma'am, you said that out loud. <laughs> I'm just surprised. What? Go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. There's an obvious agenda. Is it me or that just blackmail 101? Like, yeah. am I insane? Sometimes I feel like I'm actually insane because there are certain things that people are doing in public that it's just too surreal that they are doing this. Pushed by IGN and other sites to attack and destroy game science's image. But I... why? Well, in that same tweet by Pirate Nation, which was then made into its own article by NicheGamer.com, it stated that Black Myth Wukong's dev studio is being unfairly targeted because they rejected Sweet Baby Inc.'s advances when it came to working together. According to the Weibo post, that same Chinese journalist, who remains unnamed, says in their post that Sweet now Baby companies Inc. themselves are going targeted salty Black mode. Myth Wukong specifically. And they wanted to help game sciences devs in making their game more acceptable and appealing to Western audiences. So they want to help companies <laughs> by forcing them for you to work with them. So it's like it's my way or the highway, but the highway is really the highway. So <laughs> I understand individuals doing this. You're a company though. Who's in charge? Because I know that this is like the head of the company is g giving a green light to this. You cannot be the owner of this company and basically not knowing what is going on at this scale. So how are you green lighting this? Because this is not just your employees. Like one thing is, okay, one of your employees did this and you didn't know. Now it's several one of your employees are, are doing this because normally if a company has employees that derail from, you know, the, the track of the actual company goal, well, you get fired. <laughs> Just straight up, you get fired. Especially if you go this much pub, uh, publicly, right? They will basically have to make you as an example and fire you immediately. They cannot be the salty. <laughs> they cannot be the salty. Come on now. Yes. Except Game Science obviously declined because Sweet Baby was asking for seven million freaking dollars to consult on their new. Oh! I only thought that they just declined because, no. Yeah, that that that's all I had. No, j j but ah, oh, seven million, brother. You guys asked for the. Biggest ball in freaking American basketball. There's only one type of basketball. I don't know even know why I added the America there. But you are asking for literally a big basketball that LeBron was the one who actually touched it. You're asking for that big of a basket. And when you fail to score, you're basically shooting everybody in the leg. But not just everybody. You're shooting a specific person in the leg, which in this case would be the company that they're trying to cut their legs out. So, okay, now I understand. It's just pettiness because there, there's absolutely no logic here. Because before, now, before it was also pettiness, like if it wasn't even for the actual amount of money, uh, then it would be probably even more pettiness. Baiting on spending any kind of money to have SBI work on their game, you're a moron and your game deserves to fail. I can't believe that's a real price point. Imagine paying someone that price millions to no ruin sense. your life's work and sink your entire studio. Just insane. Yeah, if they pay this that amount of money, they will the put past. them in He's the bankruptcy. CEO of Moon Studios. And they wouldn't even finish the they game. They made Ori in the Blind Forest, and they're currently working on No Rest for the Wicked. He also came under fire for saying Moon Studios refuses to work with consultants on their games. Which, of course, in response, Thomas Mahler got criticism from game people, but he explained at length that the reason why he doesn't believe in consulting agencies is because they never actually face the choices of their own decisions. 
This is how consulting agencies pretty much consulting agencies are there to basically make their opinions and say some changes, state some changes that will make the game more diverse, I believe. But if the game sucks freaking balls, guess what? The consultant agency has nothing to be blamed for. Only the game freaking developers. So it's like a lose-lose situation because in a way you have the 50% chance or even less than that, that the game could actually be good and diverse with their opinion, with their consultant consultancy. But the bi there is a bigger chance that you are going to be on a losing end because you're already paying money for them to basically work on your freaking thing. And if they fail, you're going to get double the freaking blame for the crap that you just made because everybody's just basically make, uh, looking at the developers and not the consulting agency. Nobody's going to look at the consulting agency and say that, oh, yo, what did you guys do here? You ruined my game and everything. Now it's going to be a bit different because the consulting agency is straight up attacking a game that... <laughs> has potential to be good and is looking good but they want to freaking get into it but they can't because the developer is salute to the freaking the freaking man they got themselves put it on blast so they're already getting quite a lot of negativity at least i hope they are okay always go down a game studio or publisher hire sweet baby inc or whatever other ones that are out there you pay the millions they tell you what to change about your game now your product has no edge to it at all Everything has been sanded off. The characters, world story, all of One thing is, I don't understand that. So you just dare to say, change this. Okay, maybe you should add that. And then that actually amounts to seven freaking million. How maybe I'm high. Worse now, SBI collects their paycheck and then they leave you to work. Your game then comes out. Nobody likes it because everything about it is now ass and your game reviews poorly. It sells nothing. Boom, you fail and you close down. Yet yes. Sweet Baby and people like them just keep on existing because whether you succeed or fail, SBI doesn't lose any money either way. Yes. Because they already because got they're your paying money for when a you service. paid them. So if your company yeah. fails, like Thomas Mahler said, these consulting agencies never actually have to face the errors of their own decisions. Instead, other people, usually in the hundreds, have to lose their livelihoods and have their lives uprooted. And yeah. Sweet Baby just continues their crusade of ruining everything as they keep going onward. The Weeboo yeah. Chinese because they are literally giving you a service that you're the one that has to basically do the assessment of if you want my service or not. Now, if I fail, well, I failed. The actual option of me failing is not even an option because if I fail, that means you're the one who failed, not me. <laughs> so, these companies, man. But th this is what happens when you basically provide a service. Post There's no also refunds. points out that Sweet Baby has deliberately ruined games like God of War Ragnarok and Spider-Man 2 in the past, which I agree on both examples. I think their previous games in both 2. of those franchises yeah. were much better than their sequels, at least from a Never character those and games. story standpoint anyways. So Fang of Game Science rejecting Sweet Ooh, Baby that dodge was because he knows sexy. that if he were to let them in, but Black I, I, I that Kong would be irreversibly gameplay. damaged by their involvement, was a really smart decision. They would also likely push game science to include things like people of color within the game and gender swap many characters into women for diversity reasons. This is a freaking monkey fighting demons. Like, why? <laughs> uh, my question is, how in the world would you even put diversity in this? <laughs> like, for real though. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all of these games, imagine if they had diversity. Oh, yeah, let's put a black guy here. Oh, yeah, let's put a bunch of women here. Oh, yeah, let's put a lesbian. Let's put a... Like, th these are freaking battles with demons. The main character is a freaking monkey. Watch out. So why would you even... There's no diversity. Well, actually, I would even argue that there's more diversity in here than in the whole planet. Because there is a... <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff in here, okay? And not just monkeys. And it's not just demons. I just don't know their names, but there is a lot of things. They're also humans, I believe. Essentially, if you want your game to be made by committee and be made for the modern audience, you call someone like Sweet Baby Inc. And I could give plenty of examples of how games related to SBI have lost millions already, like Spider-Man 2, Suicide Squad, and entire studio closure. Suicide Squad left a two? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You, well. they, you cannot be They in don't this call much it the death. sweet baby kiss of death for nothing, dear viewer. These parasites are killing video games. 
And there's more versions of them that are popping up all the time, like Baby Ghost, Sugar Baby recently too, and even Hit Detection. All of these companies are in bed with one another, and they are siphoning the life force of video games in general to fill their pockets with money and ruin as many franchises as they possibly can. And we've seen also a plenty that games that do the best are the ones that reject these very consultants. Yeah, Look at why. Hogwarts Legacy, Pal World, and so on. Black Myth Wukong is currently set up to be... Ain't no way Power World would actually have these consultants. Like, come on now. Power World is not even finished. It's not even finished, right? Like, the Power World is like a game developed by a really, 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 really small amount of people. There ain't no way they ain't even had the money to pay for these guys. And if they did, that would be the stupidest thing ever. To be a massive hit for game science. I wouldn't be surprised if it breaks records across the board. But the reality is that its scores will likely be lower than originally intended and it'll have nothing to do with the game's quality or anything like that. But instead, simply because Wukong doesn't bend the knee to woke identity politics. But we know bending the knee to DEI is never a good option either. Go look at Assassin's Creed Shadows. Recently, the game's director even stated they took literal emotional damage when Elon Musk denounced their game and called it crap. That literally took a bunch of them. Assassin's Creed Shadow Boss admits to being emotionally broken by Elon Musk for criticizing games. <laughs> uh, I've seen gameplay of this game. Elon Musk actually play, play games? I didn't know that. Uh, that's news to me. The game's director's name is Mark Alexis Coty, and he was speaking with Steven Dottillo of Gamefile when he stated that Elon Musk broke him emotionally. He said, and I quote, <laughs> That tweet generated emotions that the first thing I wanted to do was go back on X that I had deleted and just tweet back. <laughs> and I just took a step back. I have a mindfulness app on my phone, and I did a bit of mindfulness to try to explore the emotions that this tweet created. For me, Elon, it's sad. He's just feeding hatred. I had a lot of three-word replies that came to mind. But attacking hey, someone like speech. Elon, I will not convince people about our point of view as a team. Yasuke is very, very grounded in the history of the franchise and how we make our choices. Oh, the We game got a good, super though. mysterious historical character from which not much is known about, and for us, it was what we wanted in Assassin's Creed. What Elon says is not the game that we're building. No, wait, this is Assassin's Creed? It doesn't look like Assassin's Creed. I'm not going to lie. The game is racist. I mean, you're a oh. fake black samurai who wanders Japan, killing and looting Japanese people for their belongings as they just helplessly look onward. And the fact that... Oh, huh? that, that, that's what it was? Wait, how can you be a, flag, a fake black... He clearly looked back to me. Like, how can you be fake black? <laughs> how... And wait, are you? You're, why did they make it black though? That, that that's my question. Uh, was there any other? Was there, was there actually any other black assassin screen character that was literally put in a in a place where only freaking Japanese people are in there, and you're actually stealing, just stealing? Actually, now that I think about it, that that is actually. <laughs> Funny though, it, it is funny. The game I'm not is gonna Yasuke lie. It is literally funny. beheading people and crushing Japanese men's skulls like candy. It's ridiculous. Elon Musk is right though. The DEI <laughs> does kill art, and I think this director knows deep down that Elon is right. I think what the director of Shadows was saying here, within context, Damn. is that the director is fighting with his own personal beliefs about the game because he likely knows that Yasuke was a terrible decision to add, but Ubisoft needed the ESG points. So he's spending the interview trying to convince others, but really himself, that he and his team made the right decision. But they clearly didn't. There's so many problems, by the way, being revealed about shadows from especially Japanese players. Like how rice is growing when the sakura trees are in bloom, which means Ubisoft doesn't understand how seasons work in Japan. Oh. Not to mention the plentiful of amounts of Chinese oh. architecture, and let's not forget the collector's edition box and statues which have the wrong symbologies when it comes to clan banners and armor. Not to mention people oh. have pointed out that the kanji on the collector's box is completely wrong and mistranslated. I'm oh my goodness gracious, you guys just said I shouldn't have made the game. If you're this uncultured, you shouldn't have made the game. These are really big errors and people will know, my guy, what have you done? This is what you've done and now you actually have to justify. Now I understand why you got emotionally damaged because Elon Musk went crazy on this. Not kidding. 
And of course, the other fact that Shadows' main battle theme for Yasuke is a weird rap hip-hop take on Japanese music. Keep going. I want to hear this. It's just so goddamn racist and tone deaf, <laughs> it's insane. I would show it to you, but I would get copyright striked, unfortunately. But anyway. Okay, yeah, I wanted to hear it, to be honest. But after this, I'm going to hear it. I won't actually show it on video, though. Wait, nothing is right here, and the game is not only a woke disaster. It's historically completely wrong, down to its seasons, weather, architecture, history, all of it. I've never seen Ubisoft fumble an Assassin's Creed setting with this amount of bad translations than ever before. But at least Shadows had a Japanese consultant who clearly was well overpaid because they do not do their job if they couldn't even catch things like the wrong kanji on the collector's box. Like, come on, man. And so I want to put on that, like, very mercenary hat for a second and talk about the way that we decide how we're going to sell the art that we make and how we're going to approach the audiences that we make it for. Because I think so often when people like us get told, you know, from higher ups or from society at large, this isn't what players want. It's not a conversation about demographics, sorry, content. It's a conversation about demographics. And I think that in our industry and in so many creative industries, if you want to look at film and television and any art form, we start treating our core demographics as a fixed and static value, something that does not want to change and something that is locked in place. So despite like the changing face of audiences, despite the changing face of conferences like this one, we still look at our core demographics and say, okay, they're white, cis, hetero, males. And we cater almost exclusively to them. And the problem is that we don't just cater to them like, you know, here, here's something that we think you'll enjoy. We cater them the way that we cater to like a picky baby. We feed them the same thing that we know that they love and we keep on feeding it. We're like, here you go, we, you love it. Eat this, eat this, eat this. So that then when they get anything else, they react as a picky baby would, which is be like, oh no, thank you. I do not want this. And we've actually done this so long that what we're doing is creating an entire nation of picky babies and they make us scared to deviate from what we actually want to do. Man, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what the heck you want to do. What are you talking about? You are working for a company that does games. And if me as a company owner that did the game tells you your idea is off the freaking rail from everything that we're doing here. We cannot be doing this or at least let's find a common uh, a nominator so that we can actually follow through. You're trying to say we want to make something that we want to make. It is not, not, it's not up to you guys. You guys do the marketing and whatever the heck, but it's not. It, you're trying to change the consumer by force. What? There's like a one on one on marketing. If there is already a system in place that is making money, which is a wheel, do not change the wheel. Why are you trying to change the wheel? You're saying, oh, okay, well, let's give you more. Let's give you more. Let's give you more. Yes, give them more. If they like it, who cares? Why are you trying to change? It's not your job. <laughs> That's not your job. Your job is basically to cater to the people. In a, actually, yes, that is actually your job. It's just to cater, cater to the people in, the, in a more diversity or whatever the heck way. But it's still catering to the people. Diversity is more so that people can feel included. What you're trying to do is pissing people off. I, I, don't, I don't know. Just in case, these picky babies don't want to play your games. Not to mention that Wukong has negative press aplenty for seemingly no reason it seems, yet AC Shadows has nothing but good publicity from the very same websites claiming that Fang of Game Science is sexist and so on. What we're witnessing here is clear media bias that is being created she to shape narratives to fit if their if own agendas. This is why I do what I do, fellows, because if I don't speak out about this, places like IGN and more, they'll just get away with this. They genuinely think you're all stupid and you won't notice that any of this is happening. And you'll just open your wallets like... The thing is, <laughs> these dumbasses literally made a video publicly and actually showed what their... <laughs> how they actually think their thought process goes. That is the worst idea ever. Like, who actually recorded this? <laughs> Like Why did they even buy that? the slot because you don't want to be labeled racist, but I'm here to tell you that it's all BS. And you should never listen to what these websites are saying because their agendas are designed to divide and make things worse. The West hates how the East won't bend to their whims, and it's because the East keeps winning while they're losing millions. And funnily enough, by catering to Chinese fans specifically, the game will find its own audience in the West that also likes that sort of stuff too. 
And in Assassin's Creed case, what they're doing is actually worse because they've taken something that was one thing, a historical action series. No, Assassin was and actually they turned tripping. it into they, they a were woke actually DI tripping. disaster that wants to cater to both <laughs> they, Assassin's Creed fans they were tripping, and the mad. sweet baby inks of the world too. Which just ends up making a game for neither really because you're not giving each group what they want specifically. The same could be said about Star Wars. It was made primarily for boys, Disney turned it into a female brand, and now it's for nobody. And Akira Kanai is the mentality <laughs> all of these people need pretty much. You reject whatever is trying to weasel its way in and you stay true to yourself and then you just push forward confidently. My content is not made for woke lunatics because I do not care for them. I don't want to cater to weirdos who think there's a I was about billion to say, genders is this a credit? because I don't okay, care about Okay, these are the that. Patreon people. I just stick to what I know and what I believe in and I'm confident by doing it that I will find my own audience like yourself who's watching this right now. If Black Myth Wukong wants to sell millions, they'll just keep pushing Sweet Baby Inc. away with all of their force. They mm -hmm. should even make a post saying that they reject them. That'll honestly sell them thousands of copies <laughs> easily right there. In the end, hey, a lot of people already want to buy a Wukong the because of all of this. Be, and I truly do believe that. So please support the things that actually don't hate you and keep giving the middle finger to these morons that clearly hate us for simply being who we are. Nice video. I'm going to play the game and I'm going to be the number one.